in Abu Dhabi for the second and final UIM Nations Cup Grand Prix of 2013. This is a breathtaking city. It features some of the grandest and most impressive architecture in the world. Space Age skyscrapers, incredible mosques, state-of-the-art architecture, wealth, opulence and splendor everywhere. Abu Dhabi offers a unique lifestyle with its beaches, water sports, deserts and adventure sports opportunities. It also has a vibrant nightlife and one of the most beautiful tower studded skylines in the world. This is a place where tradition and modernity come together harmoniously as Abu Dhabi is very bound to its past, its customs and its rich heritage. This is the first Nations Cup Grand Prix in Abu Dhabi with its exceptionally cosmopolitan feel, amazing mix of cultures and its status as one of the world's top venues for marine motorsports, Abu Dhabi is the perfect venue for hosting the 2013 UIM Nations Cup Decider. In Qatar, the Russians proved that in the Nations Cup, teamwork and consistency is key. They had a runner-up finish in the match race, followed by an impressive third and fourth place finish in Sprint Race 1. In Sprint Race 2, they focused on finishing the race without pushing too hard, getting fifth and seventh position. That sealed them the Qatar Grand Prix victory as they amassed 94 points coming into Abu Dhabi. Team Russia has two new pilots for Abu Dhabi. Dimitri Malkin sharing driving duties with Mikhail Kitashev in boat number five and Konstantin Ustinov sharing boat number six with Dimitri Vandeshev. The man who dominated the sprint races in Doha was Team UAE's Rashid Al Kemzi, who won both of them in convincing style but he didn't get the support he needed from his teammate Mohamed Al Meherbi, who led Sprint Race 1 briefly from pole before being passed by his teammate and then crashing out on lap 7. That meant they only managed third place in the World Series with 81 points going into Abu Dhabi. But the two-time Nations Cup champs Team UAE are definitely the favorites here in home waters. The UAE's perennial marine motorsports nemesis, Team Qatar, got some impressive results as Nations Cup regular Khalid Al Khwari won the match race in Doha and then went on to get a runner-up finish in Sprint Race 1, followed by third place in Sprint Race 2. His teammate Mohamed Al Obaidli had a rough time of it, retiring in Race 1 with an engine failure and then crashing out in a spectacular barrel roll after the start lap of race two. But the Qataris still racked up 79 points in their home Grand Prix, placing them just two points behind Team UAE. The team that stood out for their fearless, exciting racing in Qatar was Team Norway. Stan Slatedalen crashed out in the match race while his teammate Christian Carlsen crashed out in the time trials. The hard racing gung-ho Norwegians had to merge their two boats into one good boat. Carlsen in the first sprint race getting fifth place. Then Slatedalen produced an incredible race too where he moved up from fourth place passing the Russian boat on lap seven and then passing Al Kuwari on lap 12 to finish second they are definitely ones to watch out for in Abu Dhabi. The big surprise so far has been Saudi Arabia as Naeem al Kadawi and Saud Hamad's safe consistency based team strategy earned them an overall runner up finish. <laughs>
in the team standings. Team Lebanon's Lebos Chaguri flipped and crashed out in sprint race one in Qatar, but he'll be back for Abu Dhabi, ready and focused for the second and final round of the 2013 Nations Cup. Now there are two new teams in the mix. Team Venezuela features Antonino Spitaleri with team manager Fabricio Boca, a former F1 H2O champion. We expect uh, a race of experience. It's the first time that uh, Tony and us, we have managed this kind of boat. I think that uh, this is a perfect uh, race course for Tony because it's a uh, flat race course and uh, um, can make a very good experience. So that's what uh, we're looking for. Another newcomer is power boating powerhouse Italy with Marco Gambi in boat number 13 and the young and talented Stefano Pauletti in boat number 14. They're led by team manager Francesco Cantando, one of the world's top F1 H2O pilots. The all-important time trials would determine the match race draw and the first sprint race lineup. The big surprise on the day was Stefano Pauletti of Italy. He was fastest in morning practice and he came out with a thundering fastest lap time of 46.16 seconds. Stan Slatedalen of Team Norway tried to better the Italian's time but only managed 46.62 after 36 laps in the one hour time trial session. Slatta Dalan had no answer for Team Qatar's Khalid Al Kuwari as the Qatari driver got a fastest time of 46.60 seconds. But it wasn't enough to challenge Pauletti of Team Italy. It was an unlucky day for Al Kuwari's teammate Alo Baidli, who blew his boat over in just his third lap. Alo Baidli was unhurt. But the same couldn't be said for Qatar's championship hopes. Too much air. Beginner. Then came the UAE drivers. They stormed around that circuit like they owned it. Mohamed Al Meherbi gave it all he had, and he was able to beat Pauletti by just five hundredths of a second. Meanwhile, Pauletti's teammate Marco Gambi tried to push for the top five with a time of 46.75 seconds. Team Italy is aiming high and they need their drivers to have as good a place on the start grid as possible. They do a prop change on Marco Gambi's boat and he heads back out on the water. In the end, none of those drivers were able to nab pole position. Standing head and shoulders above the rest was Rashid Al Kemzi of Team UAE. He needed only 12 laps to become the only driver to break the 46 second threshold, posting an incredible time of 45.82 seconds to win the time trial. His teammate Mohamed Al Meherbi ensured it would be a Team UAE 1 2, with Stefano Pauletti settling for third, followed by Al Kuwari in fourth. Slot the Dalin in sixth. The Russians fared poorly in seventh and ninth, promising result for Spitaleri in eighth for Venezuela, Chaguri of Lebanon and Al Qadawi of Saudi Arabia down at the bottom, with Saud Hamad unable to start. In the match race, driver, oh. 
drivers face each other in a best of three run, one on one elimination showdown on a two pin alternate course. Time trials winner Rashid Al Kemzi knocked out Slot Dalin in the quarters, followed by Stefano Pauletti in the semis. In the final, he would face the Qatar match race winner Khalid Al Kuari, who handily disposed of Saudi Naeem Al Kadawi, then Russian Dmitry Malkin followed by a tightly contested win against Italian Marco Gambi in the semis. Pauletti beat Gambi in the all-Italian match for third place. The final saw another classic UAE versus Qatar showdown. Rashid Al Kemzi nabbed the first run, proving quicker than Kuwari. In the second run, Al Kemzi once again put in an extraordinary performance to beat Kuwari to the finish line. But it was a jump start, so it was down to the final run. But it was another jump start. That gave the match race win once again to Khalid Al Kuwari of Team Qatar. He is certainly the master of Nations Cup match racing. At the end of the match race, that third and fourth place finish for Team Italy gave them the lead by one point in the team standings. UAE second on 37 points, Team Norway third on 27. Going into sprint race one, Team Italy leads the standings just one point ahead of Team UAE as Pauletti and Gambi prepare for their first ever Nations Cup race. Uh, this morning we was quite fast with Marco. Uh, Stefano didn't make a good uh, lap, but uh, it was not interesting. Uh, he was much more uh, uh, focused on the starts. Uh, we get a, a better feeling with Marco's boat now. Yesterday uh, he's not racing from three years, so he takes a little time to uh, get out from, uh, you know, from the sleeping and uh, he got this morning, so I'm confident that we will have a, a good race. Tied on 27 points are Team Norway and Team Russia after the match race. Team Saudi Arabia have 25 points, and they'll be opting for a consistency-based team strategy again. Two-time Nations Cup champions Team UAE know that they're the favorites here in home waters. al Kemzi and al Meherbi are aware of what's expected of them. Weather is good. Water has come, a lot of competition. Hopefully we uh, achieve good results and uh, keep leading the race and uh, finish the race safely in uh, good positions to just uh, gain more points and uh, trying to win the championship as a team. Starting lineup, a Team UAE 1-2, then Paul Eddy third on the grid, followed by al Kuwari on fourth. Norway's Slatadalin starts fifth, next to Italian Marco Gambi in sixth. Sprint race one is underway. In pole position, Rashid Al Kemzi leads the pack to the all shot. His teammate Al Meherbi struggles to accelerate on that long start straightaway. Christian Carlson gets squeezed in between Venezuelan Spitaleri and Lebanon's Chaguri. Al Kemzi leads the fleet down that 315 meter straight to boy number two. The double sprint race winner in Qatar, once again, the man to beat here. There's a three-way battle unfolding between Italians Stefano Pauletti, Norwegian Carlsen, and... Oh. UAE 
Hayes on the hairby. Carlson ducking and weaving behind Pauletti, trying to get his nose in somewhere, but the Italian has his eye on him in the rear view. Carlson sees his chance on the 600 meter straightaway to boy number two, and he's got the top speed advantage as he drops Pauletti back down to fourth. There's another menace for Pauletti now as Almaherbi shoots up from the Italian's starboard side. The Emirati and Italian going neck and neck while Carlson opens a five boat lead. Almaherbi also nudges ahead of Pauletti, pushing the Italian back to fifth place. As you can see, Pauletti and Almaherbi's radio men and women are also very much a part of the racing here. So far, as with the two sprint races back in Doha, the man to beat here is Rashid Al Kemzi. As Christian Carlson maintains third place, a duel continues behind him between Pauletti and Almaherbi. The Italian slips in on the inside, but Almaherbi again has the extra pace down the straightaway. The Norwegian fans cheer on. Coming up behind the young Italian is Nations Cup newcomers Team Venezuela as Antonio Spitaleri moves up into sixth and challenges Pauletti. Team Italy keeps a wary eye on him. Further back, Saud Hamad of Saudi Arabia is moving up on the second Russian boat, number five, with Mikhail Kitashev. As Kitashev and Hamad come around boy number four, Hamad has the inside lane advantage, heading toward boy number one. Sure enough, Hamad dips in ahead of Kitashev and moves up into seventh spot, dropping the Russian back down a place in eighth. Good racing from the 29-year-old Saudi Arabian. Al Kamzi still leads. Behind him, Stan Slatadal and closing the distance in every lap just ahead of his teammate Christian Carlsen in boat number seven as Team Norway closes in on Al Kamzi. Dimitri Vandeshev is out of the race. That's a big blow to Team Russia's chances. A look of frustration there for Team Russia. Mohamed Al Maherbi still in the top five locked in a grueling dogfight with Stefano Pauletti as team manager Scott Gilman urges him on. Almaherbi is on the inside, Pauletti trying to pick up pace on the relatively flat water outside. The Emirati holding off the Italian, keeping tight on those turns. But the young Italian is relentless as he sticks to Almaherbi, looking for an opening in which to pounce on the 18-year-old Emirati. Pauletti nips and tucks his way in and out and seizes his chance on the 487 meters straight to boy number one, using his superior top speed to gain on Al Maherbi. The two battling drivers now come around turn boy number two, heading into the longest straight of the race. Pauletti makes his move, he puts his weight into that throttle, and he has it. Pauletti pushes ahead of Al Maherbi, moving into fourth place. But Mohamed Al Maherbi's troubles aren't over. While he's trying to chase Pauletti, behind him comes Antonio Spitaleri of Venezuela. The number five boat pulling up almost neck and neck with Al Maherbi. Antonio Spitaleri passes Al Maherbi on turn number two, and the Venezuelan leads the drag race to turn number three. The Venezuelan team cheers on. Further back, it was an unlucky race for Khaled al Kuwari. Technical problems meant he started on the back foot, and his only motivation from lap one was to at least finish the race for much needed points. The final lap now, Rashid al Kemzi is unstoppable. Nobody was able to find an answer to his speed, consistency, and concentration throughout this 26 lap race. Rashid al Kemzi of the UAE wins his third consecutive sprint race. Great result for Al Kemzi. He remains unbeaten in Nations Cup sprint racing. The Norwegians get a second and third place. Slat the Dalen runner up for the second consecutive time. His teammate Christian Carlsen is third. <laughs> Celebration time for Norway. Race one results. A fifth place for Alma Herbie will prove valuable for the UAE. The Saudis pick up 24 points. Bad day for Team Qatar. Great day for Team Norway. Uh. Oh, I'm really
really tired, but from uh, 10th place to 3rd, it's uh, very good. Also an excellent result for Team Venezuela, Spitaleri coming in at 6th. It was a great experience, both finishing the race and coming in 6th. I had trouble with my engine toward the end of the race, but that happens. It was a great experience, a great race, and a great event. Sprint Race 2, the final Nations Cup race of the year, would determine the outcome of both the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and the 2013 Nations Cup Championship. The Sprint Race 1 results would determine the Sprint Race 2 starting lineup. Al Kemsey once again with pole. The race begins from the pontoon to turn boy number one. Rashid Al Kemsey pulls away early. Stan Slatadalen already a few boat lengths behind Al Kemsey. Stefano Pauli started in fourth and passed Christian Carlsen right from the start. Now he's in between the two Norwegians. Toward the back of the field, there's a crash. It's Team Venezuela's Antonio Spitaleri and Team Lebanon's Lebos Chaguri. That's a yellow flag as the two boats are towed off the circuit. Here's the replay from Marco Gambi's on board. And Gambi cuts it close there with one of the Russian boats. Spitaleri was unhurt, but that was a disappointing end to his and Team Venezuela's First Nations Cup experience. Meanwhile, Chiguri motors back to the pontoon, his race also over. The pace boat heads onto the circuit as the boats line up for the green flag restart. There's the green flag for the running start. Paul Eddy in fourth position sets his sights on the Norwegian boats, trying to get out of their spray. Once again, it's Al Kemsey who leads proceedings, with Slatadalen and Carlsen just behind him. Having started in fifth position, Mohamed Al Maherbi unfortunately had trouble from the outset, losing power in his engine. Bad luck for Team UAE. That meant more responsibility than ever on Rashid Al Kamzi's shoulders, with the likes of Slatadalen and Carlsen breathing down his neck. In Team Russia's number six boat, newcomer Konstantin Ustinov leaves Khalid Al Kuwari behind him and makes his way up the field in his pursuit of the top boats. Surging up from fourth place, Stefano Pauletti makes a move on Christian Carlsen, overtaking the young Norwegian to move into third place as Team Norway looks on. Also overtaking Carlsen is Dimitri Malkin of Team Russia. Carlsen now in all sorts of strife as Malkin closes in on Pauletti in third place. Further back, big dogfight between Marco Gambi of Team Italy and Khalid Al Kouari of Team Qatar. Gambi passes Al Kouari on the straightaway, but Al Kouari hangs on in there, sticking to the inside. Marco Gambi has the pace to hold Al Kouari off, however, and he goes storming off down that top 487 meter straightaway between boys four and one. In the lead, Stan Slatadalen is in dogged pursuit of Al Kamzi. These two are unarguably number one and two in the Nations Cup. Al Kamzi winning every race he's entered, and Slatadalen runner up in every race he's entered. But can the Norwegian beat Al Kamzi? Troubles continue for Christian Carlsen. He's chased by Naeem Al Kadawi as his boat comes to a standstill, and the other boats pass him by. Disappointment for Team Norway as Carlsen is towed off. That's another yellow flag. The boats bunch up, giving an opportunity for the drivers to get a jump on the boats ahead. With boat number seven towed off, the race was restarted. Once again, Al Kemsi led with Slatadalen giving chase. Behind the constant Emirati Norwegian fight, Italian Stefano Pauletti trying to challenge. <laughs>
viņš slata dalen. Further back, Konstantin Ustinov is followed by Saud Hamad and Marco Gambi of Italy. Mohamed al Maherbi of Team UAE slowing down again on lap 17. His race is over this time, but he'll still try to get some points here for the UAE as his teammate Al Kamzi now carries UAE hopes. Slatta Dalin has no answer for Al Kamzi once again as the UAE driver heads toward his fourth sprint race win in a row. What a result for Al Kamzi, winning all Nations Cup sprint races for 2013. Great result also for Stan Slatadalen, holding off Pauletti for yet another runner-up finish. The race two results, Ustinov and Malkin fourth and fifth for Team Russia, Gambi sixth, the Saudi drivers seventh and ninth. Team Norway napped third place at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Team Italy runners up. Team UAE the winners, thanks to Al Kemzi's incredible performances. Russia settles for fourth, just ahead of Saudi Arabia, and Qatar sixth. The final overall results for 2013. Again, it's Team UAE. Yeah, it's nice. It's the third year for the uh, Nations Cup victory. We have a great team, a lot of support from the Abu Dhabi Marine Sport Club and Sheikh Sultan. And, uh, you know, the team's been together for a long time. We bring new drivers each year, and hopefully as they get older, we'll bring them into Formula One. That concludes the 2013 UIM Nations Cup season. See you next year.